Welcome to the video. This is going to be a review on the brand new Slingshot Briefs by Mark Bell. We'll talk about the pros and cons, we'll film some sets, and then we're going to flip it over to a comparison between the Slingshot Briefs and the Stand Strong. So stick around, uh, please comment below, let us know what you think about both the, uh, the Slingshot Briefs and the Stand Strong. If you like the video, please do like it, and uh, if you could share it, that would really help spread the word about both awesome products. So let's get into it. So first we're just going to talk about putting them on, wearing them around, comfort, um, and then we're going to transition into talking about how compatible this is with other common low body accessories like belts and knee sleeves. So I imagine you're going to have to take your shoes off to put this on. You can probably slide it on <clears throat> just like it's a big knee sleeve for your waist. I have the... Uh, Nice. I have the mediums. I am 180 pounds, give or take, and have about a 32 inch waist. And these are surprisingly very comfortable. Yeah, these, um, got a little string on here so you can tighten it. So, uh, comfort wise, yeah, these things are pretty awesome. They, they feel they feel just like a like a big knee sleeve, but for your your hips and waist. So so far so good. I I've had them on for thirty seconds, but they're not constrictive in any way. I don't feel like they're cutting off any circulation, and time will tell. But I feel like I could wear these around for an entire workout. So let's uh, let's test that theory. So I've had the uh, the slingshot briefs on for a few minutes now, and they're still incredibly comfortable, and I can feel um, sort of a warming sensation throughout. Um, we're gonna. So I've had the slingshot briefs on for a few minutes now, and uh, I can confirm that they're still very comfortable, not feeling any, you know, cut off circulation or anything. And we're going to see what it's like to put them on with knee sleeves. Um, maybe it's because I don't have the longest legs in the world, but the bottom of the briefs come pretty close to my knee. So I imagine that my knee sleeves um, might come up a little bit too high for them to be worn together comfortably, but we're about to find out. Right. And the left. <clears throat> yeah. So, uh, as you can maybe see on the video, the knee sleeves come up higher than the briefs come down. So, uh, that's just for me. Uh, maybe it's different for you, but there is some level of overlap between the two. Um, it, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's uncomfortable. I, I wonder whenever I actually get under the bar if that's going to cause any issues with them pushing and pulling on one another. Um, but let's let's check out the belt next. So now we're going to try the slingshot briefs uh, with a belt. Now I have a pretty common powerlifting belt. It's a four inch, ten millimeter thick uh, Inzer Forever lever belt. And my concern that I think will be verified very soon here. Well, actually, it's not so bad. I was worried that since the belt's already tight without the briefs, that by including the briefs, it would be too tight. Now, this this is slightly tighter than I think I'd be comfortable squatting in. We'll try it. Um, if you have a prong belt, it might not be an issue. But for those of you that are lifting with uh, a lever belt, typically, if you want to adjust the size, you need a screwdriver or some sort of tool to get in there and adjust the size. So um, it, it might be different depending on how loose or how tight you like your belt to fit. But um, for, for some people out there, if you're trying to train with both the slingshot briefs and a belt and you have a lever belt, you may have to adjust um, adjust the, the tightness of your belt accordingly. But we'll, we'll see how that feels when we get under the bar. All right, so now comes the fun part. We got the slingshot briefs on. We're gonna try a couple sets um, just to see how they feel actually in practice. 
So as a reminder, I weigh about 180 pounds. My max squat is 470 pounds in competition. So I'm by no means trying to max out today. I just want to get a feel for how these work. So we're going to start light with just the briefs and then we'll start putting on other common accessories that I like to use like belts, knee sleeves, and wrist wraps. <clears throat> Right, I just finished my sets with both the slingshot briefs by Marfell and the Stand Strong. I had to write down some notes so I don't forget what to say here, so pardon the notebook. Um, I'll start with the review and the pros and cons just on the slingshot briefs um, themselves. So uh, pros, I'll start by saying they're probably great for strongman training. I've never done that, but a lot of the advertisements I've seen for them speak about strongman training, so I, I, I imagine they're even more applicable for that type of training program. Um, I love that they provided a sense of warmth uh, on my legs and hips. It, it felt like I got into the workout a lot easier. They were extremely comfortable. Um, they're by no means a fashion statement, but you could certainly wear those around the gym for an entire workout and be totally fine. Um, and finally, the, the biggest pro that I gathered from that little miniature test we just ran was that I felt very safe and very secure throughout the entire movement. It's, it's such a nice level of compression the whole way through that you just feel invincible, so to speak. Um, if you wanna see another video of me maxing out on this, uh, that might yield different results, but so far, my favorite thing about them is how supported I felt throughout the entire motion. Now, the, the cons, which are, are kind of nitpicky and they're small, but just if I'm being fully transparent, the only, um, trade-offs I would say uh, one I love the warmth especially in the legs but after I wore that for a half an hour or so my stomach got super hot and sweaty so that, that's a little bit of a, a drawback um, and, and again kind of nitpicky but it's a little big to transport so if you have to get this in a gym bag it's not enormous but it's you know it's not tiny either um, the the belt thing again you may need to size up your belt if it's a lever belt to be compatible with that. I didn't. The sets that you saw, I left it the same size. But when I got up to 315 and put the belt on, I felt like my range of motion was slightly constricted because of how tight the belt was. So you can take that or leave that. And then finally, I think the biggest con of these, and it's not really, again, that big of a deal, but I wouldn't say that it's perfectly knee sleeve compatible. And that'll likely depend on your own limb length and your own legs. But for me, the fact that they overlapped a little bit um, as I was going through my sets with 225 and 315, that's embarrassing. <laughs> um, it was pushing the knee sleeves up and down a little bit and making them a little bit less supportive. But that's my only knock on it. Um, overall, fantastic product. Highly recommend that everybody try it out if you're interested in any sort of strength training. As Mark Bell likes to say, Weakness is never a strength, and strength is never a weakness. <laughs> so uh, to get into the comparison, uh, you can keep score at home, but I kind of have them as a wash. So overall support, I have to give it to the uh, slingshot briefs. Um, like I said, you just feel great throughout the entire motion. 
Um, as far as like bounce and pop at the bottom of the squat, I will give that to the stand strong. It's, it's, it's less supportive throughout the entire motion, but at the bottom, it really catapults you out of the hole. Um, if you have hip issues, I got to give the points to the slingshot briefs, obviously. Um, comfort, I'll give it to both of them. You could easily wear both of those around for an entire workout. <laughs> like I said, fashion statement, neither of them, uh, you're going to be showing off in your outfit of the day to your friends. Um, as far as compatibility with belts goes, um, I think the briefs benefit from pairing them with the belt because they pull down a little bit when you squat without a belt to hold them up. So I think they they could use a belt. Um, the the trade-off with the slingshot, or not the slingshot, the stand strong, is that it needs a belt. So the stand strong actually slides right on to your own lifting belt. So if you don't have a belt, you can't use this version of the stand strong. So maybe that's a point for the, the slingshot. Um, the, the flip side of that is with the stand strong, if you are going to use a belt, you don't need to size up because it's really thin. It's not going to add any girth to your waist. Whereas with the slingshot, um, you might have to size up your belt a little bit. Cost, um, that's not that big of a deal. It's, it's a minor difference, but the, the stand strong is a little cheaper than the slingshot briefs. Um, compatibility, again, I got to give the points to the stand strong because the, the loops that go around your leg sit higher than the knee sleeve, so there's no contact between the two. So it's really easy to wear them both with 100% efficacy throughout the entire workout. Um, versatility, again, I'll give that to the stand strong. And what I mean by versatility is um, sort of like I said, the, the slingshot briefs are awesome, but they're a little big um, to transport where these are just something you can easily fold up put in a gym bag and it's real easy to go. Almost like the, the actual slingshot for bench press. It's very versatile. Uh, strongman training, again, I'll give that to the slingshot briefs. Um, sizing, I'll also give that to the slingshot briefs. The, the stand strong only comes in two sizes. The benefit is that um, this is compatible <clears throat> with virtually any lifting belt, so it should fit pretty much everybody. But if you're an outlier and have really big or small legs, it might be an issue. Whereas um, Slingshot has a ton of different sizes for the briefs, so everybody should be covered. And then finally, ease of putting on and taking off is kind of a split. So I think it's more intuitive how you put on and take off the Slingshot briefs. It's, it's literally just like sliding on a pair of knee sleeves and peeling them down. Um, the the trade-off is that I think the, the Stand Strong is a little less intrusive. So it might not be as intuitive because you've never really looked at anything like that before, but once you put on the legs and then pull up the belt and fasten it, um, it, it doesn't intrude on anything else like knee sleeves or anything else you might be wearing. So um, score that however you want. I apologize if I mixed up slingshot and stand strong at any point in time. <laughs> That's an honest mistake. Um, but again, thanks for watching the video. Please comment below. Let us know what you think. If you like the video, please do like it, and we would really appreciate it if you shared the video and spread the word. So 